Hi, I'm Tom Gustafson, Computer Information Systems Instructor at Lake Superior College in Duluth, Minnesota. This series of videos is about Windows 7 unattended installation. The first thing I'd like to do is discuss the question, what is an unattended installation? It's a contrast to traditional installations that most of us have done. You put a CD or DVD in the computer, you st start the setup program, and you sit while the entire installation happens. You answer questions by clicking on the mouse or typing in a text box. You wait sometimes for long periods of times of time as files copy and different elements of the operating system are installed. It's a labor intensive and sometimes a wasteful process because you sometimes may walk away and it, the computer sits there waiting for you to answer a question or you sometimes have to sit there and watch as the installation proceeds afraid that you might miss something or miss an opportunity to enter some information. An unattended installation instead is a hands-free installation. It's an installation that requires no interaction while it's happening. That's because all of the answers to the questions you typically answer with the keyboard and mouse have been provided ahead of time. They're in a file and the setup program just reads the answers from a file instead of expecting you to provide them with the mouse and keyboard. So it's a time-saving feature that allows you to be more efficient with your time because you can start an installation and then just walk away and it will complete its on its own without your interaction at all. So what are the resources that we'll need for an unattended installation? There are two. We'll be using the Windows 7 Enterprise Evaluation which is available free at the website you see on your screen. We need of course an installation um, medium of Windows 7, some edition, to do this and we're going to be using this free evaluation. I'm just going to open up this website for you to show you what it is here. The Windows 7 Enterprise 90 Day Trial. It's uh, for people to test out and test run Windows 7. Enterprise has all the features of Windows 7. There are no missing features in this edition. Enterprise and Ultimate have everything. So this is a great thing to play with. You can play with it for 90 days and you can even rearm it three times at 30 days per rearming. So you can get up to 180 days, six months of experimentation time with Windows 7 Enterprise through this download. And you can either download the 32-bit or the 64-bit version depending on what kind of a computer you'll be running it on and uh, I'll just pop up this page to show you that in order to make this download you do have to sign into Microsoft so if you have a Hotmail account for example you can just put your email address and password in there or you can sign up for a Windows Live ID. I've already done all this so I'm not going to go through the process with you but you download the ISO file and then you can use that to install Windows 7 Enterprise and evaluate it. The other thing that we'll need to do this unattended installation is the Windows Automated Installation Kit. This is also a free download from Microsoft. It's called WAIK and if you want to locate it, all you have to do is go to this link here, microsoft.com slash downloads and search for WAIK. This is going to be a large file. It's a 1.7 gig ISO file, so it's going to take a long time to download you want to do it on a fast internet connection and then it's an ISO file as well. You can use the ISO if you have software to mount it to your computer or from a virtual machine you can use it or you can burn it to a DVD and use it that way. So I'm going to click on the link right here microsoft.com slash downloads and I'm going to locate the Windows Automated Installation Kit. It's a big file, 1.7 gigabytes so we're not going to download it right now. We're just going to take a look at where you would find it. So I'm at the Microsoft Download Center and in the search box right here I'm just going to type WAIK and search for that. And the first item in the list here is Windows AIK for Windows 7. And make sure you get the Windows 7 edition if that's what you're working with. There is a Vista uh, version of it at all. That looks like it down here. That one's a little less than a gigabyte, about 900 meg. 
This one's 1.7 gigabytes, so it's quite large. If I click here, it'll give me a description of it. There's the file name, kb3aik underscore en.iso, 1.7 gigabytes of information. I'm not going to go through with the download because I've already done it, but that's how you get there. So we need these two resources, the Windows 7 Enterprise and the uh, evaluation and the Windows Automated Installation Kit. Let's talk a little bit about the elements of an unattended installation. The first element that we're going to work with is called the answer file. This is that file that contains all the information needed for an unattended installation so you don't have to provide them while the installation is taking place. The setup program reads the answers from this file. It is an XML file. XML is the extended markup language. XML files, I will show you one later, can be kind of intimidating. They, are, they look a little complicated. We wouldn't want to do this by hand. That would be difficult. So Windows provides a tool for us. It's called the Windows System Image Manager, and it comes from the Windows Automated Installation Kit. Again, this is a free download from Microsoft. And uh, the Windows SIM is still a little tricky, even with the uh, graphical interface that it provides. It's still a bit of a challenge to figure out how to use this. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate for you is how to install the Windows Automated Installation Kit, and then we can use this Windows System Image Manager to create the answer file that we need. Let me jump over here to VMware Workstation. And this VMware workstation is running Windows Server 2008. We could do this from Windows 7 just as well. And I'm going to show you, uh, first of all, my all programs. I want to prove to you I don't have the Windows AIK here. We'll see it later. So it's not there. And let me show you in my virtual machine settings that my CD DVD drive is pointing to the AIK ISO file, which is a basically an image or a copy of a DVD. So my DVD is actually a file uh, that this virtual machine is using, and that's the file we downloaded from the download center that has the automated installation kit on it. I'm going to open up my um, computer here, and I'm just going to show you the contents of this drive. There's the contents of the Automated Installation Kit drive. And I'm just going to double click on the startcd.exe program. And this will start the installation for the Automated Installation Kit. It's a very straightforward installation. You just click Windows AIK Setup. And this installation will proceed um, with very little interaction on our part. And remember, we're just installing the tools that come with the automated installation kit. So I click to agree to the license agreement. I choose the default folder location and say it's going to be available to everyone who logs onto this computer. And it's ready to install. I just click Next, and the automated installation kit um, is being installed right now. I'm going to pause the video while this happens. OK, the installation is just finishing up. It only took a few minutes, but I didn't want to have the video any longer than it needed to be. And it's just wrapping up right now. Once the installation is finished, we will be able to prove that it was installed by looking to be sure we have all the tools. I'm going to click Close here to exit the, uh, the installation process. And I'm going to close down my window to my CD drive. And now I'm going to go to my All Programs again. And notice now I have the Microsoft Windows AIK in my list of programs. And if I click on it, I have four things here. The Deployment Tools Command Prompt. We won't use this, but this is very useful to go to the Command Prompt. You can create a Windows PE CD from here. Um, it's like a DOS bootable CD. You can use the user state migration tool from the command prompt. Very powerful tools. We are going to be using this right here, the Windows System Im Image Manager, to create an answer file in the next video. We'll also have some documentation here and VAMT 1.2, which we won't 
worry about in these videos. So that's the first step in doing an unattended installation. We found out where to download the ISO file that we uh, can use for our Windows 7 installation and also download the Windows Automated Installation Kit. We've installed the Automated Installation Kit and now we can use this System Image Manager to create our unattended installation file and we will do that in the next video.